All right, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about OnlyFans and young females making millions off of it. And is it a good thing, a bad thing? And we also going to go through, uh, I think her name is Bad Bunny or whatever it is. We we, we all know who she is. Um, we're going to go through how much money she made in 20, 2021. So we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, Children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't can't understand it neither. Ah, yeah, man. Sketch pad. So, oh, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Uh, listen, hit the notification bell. YouTube's been uh, unsubscribing people, so make sure you are subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever we drop an episode. You know what I'm saying? We drop episode at least two episodes, three episodes, or two episodes a day, or one episode a day. We're going to be dropping these episodes. They're coming. Um, and if you want to donate, Links are in the description, Cash App, PayPal, all that good stuff. So, um, before I get into that, if you want to find us, you can find us on Rumble now. So now we are on Rumble. Cash, uh, uh, Cash App, <laughs> uh, Sketchpad is on Rumble. So, whenever we drop an episode on here, it comes out on Rumble. That's our first channel on Rumble, Sketchpad Podcast. So if you miss it on here. You can always see it on Rumble, but we also have another show that's coming very soon on Rumble. It's going to be a Rumble exclusive. It's called Sketch Pad Rumble. You know what I'm saying? And it's not going to be like this channel. So, yeah, I know you like this channel. I know we all like this channel, but it's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be exciting. That's all I'm going to say. So just make sure y'all stay tuned for that. It's going to be crazy. Um, So, yeah. So let's get into this topic, man. Um, catch me outside, girl. OnlyFans. So I want to go through how much she made in 2021. And this is, I believe, when she be, when she turned 18. Right? So mm-hmm. in 2021, Catch Me Outside Girl started OnlyFans and she turned 18. And in April, I believe, of 2021... She made 18, she made about over $18 million. Right? Mm. That's in the first month. The second month, she made $6 million. Over $6 million. That's in May of 2021. In June of 2021, she made four over $4 million. July, over three million. August, over two million. September, over a million. In October, over a million. And in November, she made less than a million, about eight hundred thousand. Right. So she made about altogether. That's about about forty million right there, somewhere around there. A little bit more than 40 million. Mm. Something like that. So she made, she became a millionaire, a millionaire, multi millionaire, in less than a year off of OnlyFans. So I want you to think about that. 18 years old, 18, made almost $50 million in. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight months, less than a year. Here's the thing. This is what I want you to understand, all you fellas out there, because this is about to get deep. It's over for us, fellas. I'm just going to tell you right now. If you're not married, if you ain't looking to get married, if you ain't got a wife, it's over, bro. It's over. Just, Just chalk it up. 
once OnlyFans started, it's a wrap. Because now women can do that. They don't need men no more for finances. They will make because they have guys like us, like guys, not guys like us, but they have men who are going to pay to see them do crazy things to themselves. Because what's what's better? What's what's better than money? It's like Internet prostitution. That's all it is. Online prostitution. And you don't have to sleep with the men. You show yourself off. Who cares? That's why they make it so uh, they glorify it so much. Like nobody cares if you show your body. So so what a million guys seeing you naked? It doesn't matter. That's how people look at it. So it's over for us because for us to find a decent woman or someone that we can actually say is ours. Very, very difficult now. Because if she knows she has an option to do that, you think she's going to settle for you when she can have 30 men sending her a hundred dollars a day. Why would she settle? Society has made it easy for women like this to make money off of their body because nobody's shaming. Can't tell anybody no more. And us guys, we become incels or we become guys who can't get women. We sit in our basement or we sit in the room all day. Masturbate, watch these girls, and that's it. It's like a fantasy that will never be fulfilled. Constantly, constantly, the urge for that. And these people are making money off of it. Not only is OnlyFans her pimp, she thinks she's making a lot of money, but I'm sure OnlyFans is making much more than what she's making. How is that not, how is this not a pimp? That's a pimp. So what, what, what really what really bothers me and what really I think a lot of men need to pay attention to is you have you have to find somebody that is basically on your level or that you're compatible with because reaching for the stars is is not an option anymore these people have made it to where is women a lot of these women it's very difficult to find somebody who is how would I say uh in tune to you because there's so many people admiring them they can't even choose a guy because they have a thousand men telling them that they're beautiful all day so what do you do with a situation like that imagine if you had a thousand girls telling you that you were the best looking guy they ever seen in their life you think you'll settle for one girl but us as men we don't have that we're the ones that's telling them this feeding their ego and they're the ones that's making money off of it and that's what it is so yeah what's your thoughts man <laughs> listen all right so as far as that there's there's one thing that i do kind of disagree with just a teeny weeny bit and um i do think women will always need men and i'm gonna tell you why because of the simple fact y'all can't reproduce by yourselves y'all can't reproduce by yourselves y'all might be able to go get that artificial insemination crap inside them labs and then produce a baby but that's not but that's not what's the name though that's not artificially inseminated that's still from a man yeah yeah i'll get no i agree with you on that that's still my man so they might be able to get pregnant but it still have to be from a man like Mm -hmm. you have to get it from a man okay yeah y'all still 
y'all still got to go y'all still got to go to them laboratories if if that's the case if y'all don't want anything physical y'all still got to go to them labs if y'all want a, a child but here's the thing with that and I'm going to tie this all in on how it makes sense here's the thing with that you not even going to know unless you're unless you're somebody with like buku dollars you not even going to know what that man had, whether he had disease, whether it was this wrong with him, that wrong with him, because we all know a lot of times you give birth to children or whatever. Sometimes whatever the parents had, it goes in, it goes to the child is hereditary. We all know that. So you're not even going to know that. So you might have to deal with that. What I'm saying is you're always going to need a man in some shape or form. So any of you females thinking that you're just going to push the man to the side, you're never going to be able to push the man to the side because you're always going to need the man. These pages that y'all running, these OnlyFans, I'm pretty sure there's some pretty smart men out there that created this OnlyFans just so females like you can hop on there and expose yourself. That's still needing a man. So what I'm saying is like, like when is it going to stop when it comes to like trying to uh, push the man aside? When is it going to stop? Like this continuation of, of like, you know, trying to put men into this category of a simp and then push them aside. It, it, it's a, on trending thing now it's coming to the point where like you can't voice your opinion if you voice your opinion your body shaming if you say this it's that is it like come on now like you know we, we ain't even going we, we spoke about it before we ain't even going to get back into the whole holiday thing because we already know that's obsolete so like really really this what it is Hey, I, look, get your money. Get your money. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. But don't ever think you're not going to need a man because you're always going to need a man in some shape or form. And if you notice, the women that always say they don't need a man, they're the ones that are forever single for the rest of their freaking life. And they might got all this money, but they miserable as hell. So every now and then, they're the ones that got to pick up the phone and get a booty call like, yo, I'm going to need you to come over five, ten minutes. And, oh, behold, there's always some man out there. <laughs> oh, 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 let's go over a little bit. So, you're always going to need a man. So, yeah. Um, man. I agree. I agree. But, I, you know, and now that you put it like that, you definitely gonna always need a man. I agree. Um, I think that uh, us as men need to start protecting ourselves a little more, and we got to stop being so lenient when it comes to females. Stop being so lenient. Stop being so nice. It doesn't win nothing. It gets nothing for you. Trust and believe. I did a test. I did a test recently. I did a test, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do everything right for this one female. Just one. Is it what you told me off camera the, uh, yeah. a, a while back? <laughs> I did everything right. Everything. Stop talking to other girls. I did everything. I said, you know what? I'm going to do everything the right way. I'm going to genuinely do it. See her whenever, send her, whatever. But I'm not going to be what they call, I'm not going to be a pushover. But I'm going to do everything a real so-called real man supposed to do for a female. And you know what happened? You know what happened? Still left. <laughs> still, still left. Still did what she wanted to do. But that's my point. You know what I'm saying? You have to think about yourself first and do not commit to none of these girls unless she is the one 
that do everything to commit to you. Don't commit to them. As a man, she should always want to chase you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got to chase her and she know you like her, she ain't the one for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just the bottom line. Correct. He has to come to you and let you know that this is what it is. Because women, and I know me people going to hate me for saying this, but it's the truth. Women are incapable of loving. Simple as that. That's just my opinion. Men, when we love, we go all in. We go all in. But women, the only people they love is themselves. That's it. Because their emotions change like the wind. You do one thing they don't like, they'll hold on to that for the rest of their life. And then they'll bring it up 10 years later. Us as men, we hash it out and get rid of it right away. We have a problem with you, we tell you right away. Women, passive aggressive. I also, I also, I, I think, I think it's more, I, I think it, I think it's more of the woman today in today's society than it is 10, 15 years ago. I think it's more of women today. I think the woman of today is definitely what my bro is describing. Mm -hmm. The woman of today. Because I've seen it with my own two eyes. That's why what I'm saying. Think, why do you think there's people like passport bros that say screw it and go to another country? Because in the other countries, women still value the kings. And the kings still value the queens. They go by different philosophies in other countries. Now, I mind you, there is some places in other countries that, you know, that are so westernized to the point where it's almost operating like, like the states. But what I'm saying is that majority of these other places, they value the man. They value marriage, they value relationships, they value togetherness, they value wholeness, they value unity. We lost that values over here. We lost that joint a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. But hey man, thank y'all for watching. You know what it is. See y'all, peace, catch pad.